What's up guys, Bob here from Pure Hockey. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the True Catalyst 9X Hockey Stick. Before we jump into the review, make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date on all the latest hockey gear. And if you have any questions or think we can improve upon these videos, be sure to drop a line in the comments. We want to be giving you guys the best possible content. All right, now like we always do, let's break down the full Catalyst line. We have four models this year, starting with the top of the line Project X, which weighs 360 grams. Then we have the 9X weighing 385 grams, the 7X weighing 410 grams, and the 5X weighing 430 grams. All of these Catalyst sticks have these three features in common. A mid kick point, which gives you a stiff taper area to maximize control, one piece compression molded sticks, and a shaft geometry that consists of square corners with double concave sidewalls. For those of you new to True Sticks, let's talk about what other manufacturing brands match up to the Catalyst line. For Bauer, this is gonna be most similar to the Nexus line. For CCM, it's gonna fall in line with their jet speed models. And for Warrior, it's gonna be closest to the Alpha line. Now with that said, all of these sticks have their own unique features. So it's not gonna be exactly the same, but it's gonna be somewhat similar. Now that we've got that covered, let's jump into the 9X. First, let's talk about the weight of this thing. 385 grams, that's 40 grams lighter than the previous generation XC9. As far as looks go, you've got the black and gold colorway with hints of their honeycomb design. And the Catalyst logo is completely chromed out. I think this looks really nice on this stick, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think, so drop your thought in the comments. All right, now let's get into the technologies. Starting in the shaft, we're getting True's Exenic technology, which is carried over from the XC9. This process combines a compression molded shaft into a true one piece stick, resulting in a seamless build. Next for shaft technologies, we have precision laminate design or PLD, and this is taking over for smart ply. In this process, True angles their unidirectional carbon fibers in up to 25 layers. This adds to the weight reduction while increasing impact strength. Aiding to those attributes is an updated spread toe fabric that's found throughout the entire stick. This is 60% lighter than what was used on the XC9. Now I know we touched on this having a mid kick point, but let's break that down even further. As you work your way down the stick, it gradually increases in stiffness. Right where the green and red points meet is the actual kick point. This allows maximum energy loading for effortless power and a stiff taper zone to maximize control. And finally, let's talk about the blade. We're getting two new technologies. First, we're gonna start with PASS, which stands for Performance Advanced Strengthening System. This increases the strength by 25% over the previous generation X-Core technology. The added strength prevents interior foams from breaking down, giving you a less rigid blade with better durability. Next in the blade, we have True's BAT technology. This update over the previous generation BRT Plus is built with new lower density fibers instead of carbon. This increases the dampening properties, giving you a better feel for your blade. To recap, the key takeaways of this stick are the lightweight design, the increased durability, and the overall feel. All of these attributes make this a great option if you're looking for a lightweight mid-kick profile stick designed for precision and accuracy. Well folks, that wraps up our review of the True Catalyst 9X Hockey Stick. If you want to find out more about this model or the rest of the line, we'll have links down in our description. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you're in the neighborhood, stop by any one of our 50 plus retail locations or shop us online at purehockey.com. We'll see you in the next one.